We have two deliveries today. We are delivering our bundled firewood to a convenience store. And then we have a third of a cord that we're gonna be delivering in the next town over. This is a new market that we're getting into with bundled firewood. And we are delivering 25 bundles this morning. When I got into firewood, I made rule number one, it must be fun. So I still don't know if bundled firewood is going to be fun. It seems to be profitable right now, but it does add a new level of work and process that I still have to understand if we're gonna be willing to, to keep it up. So far, so good. We try to make the bundles look real professional. I have a machine that shrink wraps them. I had a lady design us our label. It's got our logo, our company information. So we're gonna get the truck loaded up. We already have it loaded with the third of a cord and now we're gonna be loading it up with 25 bundles. Seven in here. I always take a couple extra just in case we have. All right, here we go, guys. So this is the display uh, in this drive-through, and I think it looks great. What the heck? We're right next to the white claw. Here are the numbers for bundled firewood. A cord of firewood has 128 cubic feet in it. If you have a bundle, and bundles come in two traditional sizes, three quarters of a cubic foot and one cubic foot. I sell the smaller one, three quarters, 0.75 cubic feet. There are 170 bundles in a cord of firewood. So if you can sell that bundle for $4, uh, you are much farther ahead for a quart of firewood than you would if you sold it loose. But there is labor involved and there's other expenses. So I have those labels made. They cost me 15 cents each. Uh, I did the math for the shrink wrap. There's about 17 cents worth of shrink wrap on every single bundle. There is your overhead and then it's a matter of what you can get your contract for per bundle. We are now unloading the truck at the second delivery. We just finished our second delivery. Uh, he wanted, uh, he has this big fence and he asked if we wouldn't mind throwing it over the fence off of the truck. He thought it was a big deal. It really wasn't because we just threw everything over the fence and it's their job now to stack it. 